Hi everyone, Messi Coda back again with another live dev interview. This time with Manus Box Studios, the creators of the One Logic State Machine and Hierarchy Dividers Pro. In this video, we're going to be getting a brief introduction to Manus Box Studios, getting to know them, getting to be their friends, and also learning how to use Hierarchy Dividers. It's an amazing asset, and I was blown away. I don't understand why it's not natively part of Unity. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a moment. We're going to be doing a live chat with Manaspark Studio, creator of not only this Logic State Machine, but also Hierarchy Dividers Pro. And there's a free one out there. Look at this. So uh, uh, what we did, dividers. There you go. They do work. So you want to get yourself some of this action. This is a free version. You, you can try out the free one. And if you like it, well, you could be in a chance to win to win this today. And we're going to be giving away a copy of the state machine as well. So we've got a few copies of the divider to give away, not just one. We've got quite a few. So there could be quite a few lucky winners in tonight. But let's give them a phone call. It's ringing. Buddy. Hey, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, of course. Good morning. Oh, good Abend aus Duisburg, my friend. <laughs> uh, du hast schöne Augen und Lippen. Oh, danke schön, du auch. <laughs> du hast die Haare schön. Everyone at home, sitting around the world, in front of your computers, your tablets, your mobile phones, even your TV screens, give a warm, messy welcome to Max from Manaspark Studios. Welcome, Max. Thank you. And thanks for being on the stream to the people in the chat. And uh, we can guess that you're actually from Germany. Yeah, actually. There's quite a few people in the uh, German game dev community that are working on Unity things, aren't you? Yeah, it's crazy. I uh, I often talk to people on, on Reddit or Twitter, and um, suddenly someone says, Hey, you're from Deutschland, right? Yeah. <laughs> And then, then I'm kind of confused. I share continue in English or German. <laughs> Quite a few contacts from from Germany. That's weird. Is it? Do you find that there's more people in Unity in Germany than there is we using Unreal or CryEngine? Uh, dude, I've only used Unity so far. For my shame, <laughs> I, d I don't know about the other. Uh, but I guess uh, Unity has a large community. Maybe so. It's more probably. Uh, probably there are more Germans around. I don't know. Because you've got. Um, when did you start doing your one state machine? Oh, that was I think in June last year. It was uh, during a course in my uh, studies. We were doing a, um, a project for Siemens, and I had to do this Hololens app. And can I uh, arrange my code so I have a nice layout and things? And then I stumbled um, about state machines and um, the link I have showed you today. Um, it was about finite state machines and how you can use it in the animator. My my main problem in game dev kicked in like, uh, oh, I have to make a tool out of it. I started as a game developer in Unity, but um, every time I work on the game, I, I end up making tools. So. <laughs> That makes, it, makes your life easier, machine. though, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't, but I have no finished game yet. <laughs> <laughs> you've got no finished game, but you've got, uh, well, you'd say, like, two completed assets on the asset store. Three, if you include the free one. Yeah, two and a half, three. Yeah, two and a half. <laughs> and uh, I have worked on two more assets. Um, game. Um, I don't know if, if you have downloaded the video I've uh, sent you um, yeah, 10 I, minutes before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can tell you. Some, hey, yeah, um, yeah I can tell you some stories about then. Yeah, Radar. Radar. Um, it's a game I've started making with a friend of mine. I think he's on the chat too. Hello, and, friend. Oh, What's yeah, his name? David. What's his name? <laughs> Let's David. give a shout out. Where is he? Wave, yeah. your, wave your hand if you're in chat. 
Don't be shy. So what, we'll get one of into you was, uh, what, what did he do? What, was he doing the art and you were doing the programming? At first he was, uh, he said, uh, okay, I'm doing the Blender part and um, I was programming and oh, better don't look at the code uh, we wrote back then or I wrote. Um, I did everything inside, I think, fixed update. <laughs> first game and we um, kept with the idea and um, and we learned more and more. And so after time, I said, now nah, we can continue on this. We have to start over. So this was the next try. You can see here it's uh, called the Bibu Pirate. This is cool. And the, the hood, it's the same um, concept. Like you uh, collect things uh, like in Snake and you go on. And uh, in this project, um, the first time I learned about procedural mesh generation, this was quite interesting. Oh, what's this one? What's, this is some uh, space one now we've gone, we've gone to. Space? What? Yeah. Ah, one. okay, okay, okay. All right, let, me, let, me, a... let me pause it because I just want to go back to the this one. What water was this out of interest? Oh, oh um, he's called Staggart. I think you know him. The water shader from Staggart. So. Oh, man, my brain... What was the name of it? I don't uh, know that name. Yeah, yeah. Um, stylized water shader. That's uh, that, that's the one. The one that um, yeah. that um, the guys over at Cincy Studios were saying. Is that the one? No, no, no. Um, I think he's um he calls himself a technical artist. Yeah, but I think um, that's the one that the guys at Cincy Studios were saying that they liked. As well. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's, he's doing great things. Uh, they look very pretty, and um, I think he's doing a lot of tools is. for Unity too. <laughs> there it is. That is. We don't have a hotkey for that. We don't have a shortcut for that one. That's a shame. Yeah, I think that it's this one. Yeah. Did I buy this one yet? I'm not sure if I bought this one yet. I'm going to have to buy this one and have a play. Let's get back in, looking at your thingy. So we went now to Vortex Rider, not Raider. Yeah, right. It's uh, similar. Um, <laughs> this... <laughs> uh, sorry if I don't catch up. I think I saw a small delay on the video, but um, I tried my best. I'll be sharing my um, screen with you on Discord, by the way. Oh, let me check it. Let me check it. Oh, it's not supported. Uh, I have to download something. <laughs> Is still there? Hello. Yes, I'm here. Yeah? I accidentally oh, okay. muted myself, of course. Um, so I was saying that uh, I just make myself dizzy watching that last one. But you said you haven't actually completed a game. You've got loads of games here. Yeah, um, just prototypes. Um, but one day I think we'll finish one. This is uh, the latest attempt of uh, Raider. <laughs> also some systems uh, under the hood that are not on the new standard of programming, I would say. I so what's, what's the this, concept this, of this um, game then? This is like... It's still the same, like collecting things. Um, oh, I got you now. Not trying to hit yourself with the the tail you have uh, behind you. To, uh, Rolling made. <laughs> fly over the platform. <laughs> Collect points and so on. Oh, on the yeah. newest version. You're playing. You're watching. What's this? Neymar. Yeah, it's from the uh, World Championship. Yeah. In June and. <laughs> uh, it was a fun project, but maybe I should finish it. Yeah. What, was, what was it for? Was it for anyone or was it just for yourselves? At the beginning, just for myself, but uh, I wanted to make a mobile game of it. It's cool. Hope you don't get sued by anyone. Cop <laughs> the, the likeness so, to anyone is purely coincidental, you need to say. No, it's pure coincidence. <laughs> <gasps> oh. I love that one. I want to play that one. Put that one back on again. 
Yeah. If, if I'm, I'm halfway done with it, I send you a copy or something. <laughs> I can see myself spending hours just rolling around. Yeah, I have, <laughs> I've wasted too much time testing the goal mechanics. I could have been, uh, it could have been more complete yet. Oh, I know that feeling. I need, I need to, uh, I need to completely redo my. I tried making one asset, and I've written it like ten times, and I'm trying to find. Hang on, where was? I've got no. I don't think I've even. I think I might have taken it down, but no. I've redone it ten times now. Still not enough. I need to do it again. I, I had the save load working. Just and there you go. Try and try and find the last video I uploaded of it was was back here back back ages ago before. The, how is Muck? See, look, how is Muck? Muck is in beta and was given to people in the beta group to test, and I'm still waiting for feedback from my beta testers. Thank you very much, beta testers. Yeah, you know, or alpha testers rather. Thank you so much, guys. Irish Mike in the chat there. Does he deserve a shout? -out? Yeah, go on, give a shout out to Irish Mike. Even though, Irish Mike, Irish John even. Got another, got another pin, Irish Mike. Got two Irishes. Irish John doesn't even deserve to have his name read out properly. That's how much Irish Irish John's upset me now. So, in, so that's the game, sorry, uh, you're working on this game? Well, it's, uh, it was an asset for, I was doing a tutorial on how to make Tropico. Uh, okay. And I got cool. sidetracked on the bit where you uh, you choose your character at the start of Tropico, and I made a very simple customizer for your for the character. And then as I played about with it, I was like, oh, this is quite a cool little thing. I can make an asset out of it. And then <laughs> I got a bit. I asked people like, what features do they think they should add? And then it was like, you know, you should be able to scale, rescale parts of it. So then I I added that, and then I got distracted with adding more stuff, and then I completely broke it. Uh, broke the colors. I got it working again now, and um, I just decided that the code was really, 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 really messy. Not like just like a little bit messy, but like really messy. So I think oh, no, <laughs> it needs to be completely rewritten. So how many times have you rewritten um, your your um, one? I can't get the name. One logic state machine. Is there a way to call it short, like to shorten the name of it? What would you call it? Yeah. One? Yeah, just one. But I think I, it was not so clever to name it one because one is a common word and stay with one <laughs> or let's call it the state machine. <laughs> there you go. The state machine. Uh, Tech Raider, can you be a test? Yeah, dude. Check trade. I'll send me a disc. Send me on Discord. I'll, I'll uh, drop you a. Uh, I drop you over a link to join the beta testers, but tech don't expect it to work very well. Um, and just to highlight just how messy it is, I go. It's a case from the messy coder. That's the thing. It's not like the messy coder. It's the messy, 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 messy coder. Messy, messy, messy coder. Um, so yeah, it's really bad. So I can't believe that you you started your state machine in may june june even june it's even june. worse making me feel even more incompetent so and you're already on version 2.3.1 yeah if i look here 2.3.1 already wow and actually you released in july not even like look, look, you you started it in june and you released it in july yeah, it was a very basic version. I think it was accepted in August or September. I don't really know. Wow. And a lot of features were, were missing. Um, I don't, the part where you are not using static references uh, was completely not in there. The whole marketing and page uh, presentation was not so good. And it was $15, I think. Um, I tried to sell a copy. I, I already sold three copies back then. It was amazing. I think in January this year, 
I started working on version 2.0 because it was my to-do list. And I promised some people to, to uh, do the, the entity controls and um, already there are the, um, what do I call it, the uh, controller state machines. We are back, going back to it later, I think. Uh, but I was doing a complete makeover also with the UI a bit. And since then, 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, and now 2.3 with uh, tutorial videos, which are way too long. <laughs> well, I love the fact that you got tutorial videos because uh, if I pop over to your YouTube here, uh, without tutorial videos, I, my brain can't handle anything. So it was the very first ever YouTube video where I spoke English and recorded myself and oh boy, it was a lot of work and um, well, your English is fantastic. <laughs> it was a good, uh, a good practice. It was a good practice. These videos. So you've got, I mean, the, it's only 26, 26 minutes is not long for a tutorial. My tutorial is going for two hours and, and by the end of it, people haven't even learned anything. So <laughs> 26 minutes yeah. from getting started. I don't think I'd be able to get much shorter than that. But I'm not going to watch any of your tutorials. I'm just going to load it up and get my hands dirty. That's uh, the way. That's the way to do it. How long does it take you to keep your documentation up to date with all of these updates that you're doing? I think I took it took a day or so to put the most um, important things in it. Um, I'm used to writing uh, things like like these, not documentations, but uh, papers and so on. Ah, oh, good. If you got it was okay. that's the thing. If you're if you're doing an asset and you and you haven't worked on this kind of part of it before in your day job, then uh, I suppose it's going to be a bit of a mind mind mess. So be careful there of the words I choose on the stream to uh, to get your head around having to document and not only make an asset but teach people how to use it and understand yeah. how to use it what do you do for customer perfect. support i we have a discord channel um email and other things but um i think there was only one we an email twice really yeah, so you from get, Japan, I think. You don't get spammed with emails for people asking for help? No, not at wow. all. <laughs> you are uh, lucky. That's, that is, that's amazing. But uh, I had some, some testers and I gave away eight vouchers. For only one voucher left, I will give to the uh, um, visitors of your stream today. I would give more if I had any more. Um, and out of, I think, eight or maybe, yeah, let's face it, 10 testers, only one reply, replied and gave me a review and uh, actual feedback. Really? Yeah, I know that feeling when you give stuff to people to test and you wait for them to give you feedback. Yeah, yeah. I know that feeling. It's not right, Irish. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? Has he run away yet? No, he's still here. Oh my God, he says. So he's like, Irish John invited me to play his, his to help test his. I helped test it. Uh, I just kept on dying uh, on, on the boat in his, in his wonderful pirate game that he's making. It's not my fault. I think it's because I was so inept at testing his game that he's like basically avoiding me. <laughs> I'll give it a go tonight. Thank you very much, Irish. I knew if I kept on har harassing you, you'd finally give in. See, it works. It works a treat. Harassment. <laughs> Coding, harassment, panda. All right, I'm going to pop into Unity. Because you can't see my Discord, this is going to be a little bit weird because you're going to have a bit of a delay. So we're going to have uh, to get used to people saying things like, I don't see what you're um, doing. I'm working on this. Uh, maybe I can see it soon. All right, so I'm in, if you can see on the stream, I've loaded in the... Uh, we don't make mistakes. Hey. We have happy accidents. Thank you, Berserker, aka David from Manus Park, for the sub. Don't That's forget, a... make sure that you've linked your uh, Twitch and your Discord so you can get special VIP treatment in the special VIP place on the Discord. It's my smart Discord in chop. Eskimo, es Eskimos Discord in chop. Exclamation mark, Discord in chat, even. 
So, uh, yeah, pop over, click on twitter.com slash Studios. I'm saying Manaspark Studios three times fast really hurts my face. Manaspark Studios, Manaspark Studios, Manaspark Studios. If you turn around, they're standing behind you in a mirror. Okay, so <laughs> inside Unity, I can see two things because I've imported in not only the logic state machine, but also high, high, another word I can't say hierarchy, hierarchy dividers. Yes. It's going to be a complete night of me not being able to pronounce any words, I have to say. First thing I noticed that over here in my hierarchy, I've got a load of icons and colored dividers. Yeah. This looks funky. And I think um, you have downloaded what I've sent you. Correct. Nice. Okay. Um. Just look around, and if you are in an editor, I will show you something. All right. Uh, I'm in. Is here a demo scene? Demo scene. Yeah. Um, there's nothing in the world, so it's just an empty. Is it empty? Yeah. No? Basically, yeah. it's it's just for for sorting your um your hierarchy. Yeah. So it's like, I'm not. I mean, there's not going to be surprised. You didn't put an Easter egg in there, like a turn around. And there's no, like no, a zombie no. About to eat my face. Or anything <laughs> like that. Okay. That would cool. that would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> next time <laughs> next time so here on my left i've got object pool now how did, how did you no, don't tell me how you did it i'm going to try and work out how you did it so uh right click nope okay um how did he how did he add mana spark studios Hierarchy divider con oh, people can't see at home. Let me uh let me add on the mo here we go. Now you can see. So component window mana spark hierarchy divider config. Right. Uh, just uh, one thing. Are, yeah. are you still sharing your screen? Uh, I stopped sharing while uh yeah. let me let me share. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Inception. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. Freshie's here, he's sitting down. So, I haven't read any manuals. I'm going to try and work this out. Divider preset. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh. <gasps> All right, now how did he make this preset? Um, I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to go here. I'm going to guess it's a scriptable object. Mana Spark, yeah. <gasps> Pro Template. Yes, I love scriptable objects. Uh, messy time. All right, I'm in here. Do I double click it? What am I going to have? Nothing. Can I go over here now, back to Mana Spark and Messy Time? Okay, I'm in. Nice. And I'm going to just dock this over here. And I right, should put it in the. There we go. That's better. Um, plus, a new divider. I'm going to call this one. Is she where you uh it's gonna be bold colored hmm red and background is gonna be yellow yeah I was making um, dinner I'm only here now so you won't beat it what I don't even know what that means. Oh, Irish John beat him to the El Gato. What does that even mean? I think I beat you to something El Gato, man. El Gato that. What is this? What are, what are these words that you're saying? He got the free version last night and it's awesome. Oh, thank you. What's the difference between the free version and the paid version? Uh, have you the SSR page anywhere around? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So if I go to Manspark, and... yeah, it's it's a really cheap trick where there's a basically the pro version. So here's the free version. Yeah, and if you go to the pro version, you will see it's the orange image on the left. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, you can scale your icons, so it doesn't matter if you have a five by five pixel icon or a one hundred twenty eight by one hundred twenty eight. 
you can fit it. Um, you haven't already used icons yet. Uh, and you can change, uh, or better say, let's say, override the icon color. Um, so you do not have to do it manually, for example, in Photoshop or Illustrator. And there's a huge library of uh, icons, but you can also get these uh, icons um, on the web. I think there's somewhere the link to the to them uh, on the page. And basically, also the seven ninety nine is a way of supporting you as well. I mean, it's cheap as cheap. Yeah, of course. I, I thought about um, just five dollar, but I thought uh, I've already made the free version, so why not? <laughs> Why not charge a little bit more? Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and work out what those two hooligans are going on about their Elgatos. I didn't buy an Elgato when it was on sale on Amazon. I'm regretting it. Fresh Meat kept telling me to go and buy one of those fancy Elgato things, but I didn't. All right. Now, we've got... do me a favor. Yeah. Type in Messi. Messi. I hope it's there. <laughs> Look, there's my head. There's my head. <laughs> Um, and scale 10. Look at that. Boom. That's the messy code edition. <laughs> oh. Cool, you need to add that in the next next update. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I, I give you permission to add that in the next update. Awesome, awesome. Um, and override color, I don't override color. Whites, white. Oh, I can have a different left and right. Yeah. Um, okay, it's going to be an acorn. <clears throat> and I want that to be um, blue. Blue icon. Can I do 1.5? Yeah. Ooh. Three. I'm going to do feel like my eyes are just peeking out. Bigger yeah. though. Oh, Actually, right. uh, on the top, that's the preview how it will look in the hierarchy. So I think your icon is pretty small, and your your head can stay this way. So like that it would actually, yeah. Let's let's. Uh, if I want to now, why? Okay, I'm, I haven't. This is as far as I've got so far. I'm trying to work out what I'm doing. Yeah. And now, if I. I want to make my. How do I get it from here to here? I think your right window is a little bit too too large, so you don't see it. What you have to do? What's too large? Your window. Look in the right corner. <gasps> Place to find it. Go on. There it is. Yeah. There's my head. <laughs> Fishy wiggle. That's awesome. There you go. Yeah, and you can change the pre and suffixes from it just by one, yeah, changing one thing. Okay. Um, that's why I actually made it because I, I thought it, it takes a lot of time creating these dividers by hand and uh, counting everything. So uh, you can say what um, sign or character you want and how, how often it shall be there. You can uh, type. Um, a sequence of uh, characters and then it will show up in the hierarchy. Uh, there's also a, a, a template with uh, ASCII signs. It was actually a tester, um, in the meanwhile a good friend uh, on Discord, who gave me this idea. He uh, posted or uh, sent me all the ASCII signs he likes and I put it in this template. So how do I, wait, wait okay. Where, how, what? Yeah. On the right side, you see there's a field with pre suffix on the top, just on a fishy wiggle. Pre suffix, yeah. yep. Yeah, you type in anything you want: exclamation mark or a pound sign plus what you want. And on the oh, right side, amount. you can. Oh, There you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There, I see it. And okay. you can also do some smileys or ASCII signs. Ooh, yeah, and yeah. you can also change it to 100 and uh, it won't overdraw, I hope. There you go. Yeah. Now if I do the next one, can I make that to be... Uh, 
Space dividers. Go on. One thing you shouldn't do at all is um, parenting. So if you put game objects on the dividers, um, the dividers will get deleted. You you will get a warning, but uh, they will get deleted, and they are marked as editor only. So if you oh, uh, what if I do this like that? Uh, that's okay. And this is not okay. <laughs> Aha. So and never yeah. do that. Yes. That's uh, also one reason why I made these because parenting is bad for your performance. If you have, if you're parenting and you have uh, anything in this parent group that actually moves and um, doesn't need parenting, um, all transforms in this um, yeah, hierarchy will get updated by Unity. I didn't know that. No, no. I never, I, I've I, never once really bothered to sit and look at it into that much detail. To be honest. Yeah. Um, so, I, I what about Sorry, this whole I, nested prefab nonsense then? So that's that's how you. Nested prefab. I, I don't know how it uh, interferes with this, but uh, it just um, sometimes you want to use a game object as a folder, or yeah. just to to sort uh, something. And um, if it's not necessary, don't do it. For example, you have a lot of uh, collectibles or so, and all are moving. Like for example, you saw in in the game Radar. Of these uh, spheres moving around. So you're going to um, say this, this is now really bad. Uh, let me check it. GUI, I think it's okay. Touch input, yeah. Maybe main camera. Uh, main camera all, uh, often moves, for example, in FPS. Um, if nothing, yeah, that would be definitely better, I think. So this, this, would be, this would be a really bad idea. Yeah, so I think if, for example, obstacle one moves everything up to touch input, Will get updated um, in terms of transforms. So now, so now I'm like really, really being really naughty. Yeah, it's it's not a bad thing because uh, you often have um, I don't know some vehicles or what, whatever that's structured uh, structured this way, but um, you don't have to overdo it. I think uh, I learned it on a performance talk at Unite Berlin 2018. I think it was there, and there's also an, an article about it. I really should take more notice of these Unites. I try to watch them when I'm in the bath on the on the tablet. <laughs> Doesn't always work out. I should put more effort in because this is this yeah. this this is really nice. Uh, I've I found the the article about it. It's a blog post. I'll send it to you on Discord and. Maybe the, someone will find a good use in it. So what's the most number of um, dividers I could have? Is there like I a, don't is there know. A limit? Have you, what's the most you've thrown in at it? I think the most, yeah, like in the template. You have, uh, I haven't tried it out yet. I think there's no limit. Because these are just uh, basic game objects. I'm going to sit here clicking plus for the next hour. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happens if you place them and place them again and there are hierarchies with the same name. I don't Ooh, know what happens. Let's do that. Yeah, of course. Okay. Ah, it's fine. You liked it. Oh no, I see there's a debug log message. I've missed to delete. <laughs> oh, oh no! no. <laughs> yep, write it down. <laughs> Thanks for testing. Yo, welcome. <laughs> that's what we're here for. Well, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this live tip interview. There's much more where this came from. Don't forget, if you like these videos, you want to see more, click on that big red juicy subscribe button down below. Tell all of your friends and neighbors. And I'll see you over on all the W's or Twitch or TV slash The Messy Coder Fridays and Saturdays. I've also got a Discord. There's a link down in the description right down below. And if you do like it, click it. Until next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Until next time. <laughs>